Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add audio to your video clip using Magic's Movie Edit Pro 2019. So let's open up our web browser. The first thing we'll do is download a video clip. I'll put a link to this video clip in the YouTube description. We'll click free download 1920 by 1080 and we'll click download here. The video clips downloaded is a pretty small file, so we just drag and drop that into the folder up here. And then we want to get some audio. There's quite a few different places you can get audio from, but my favorite place is the YouTube audio library. You need a YouTube account to access this, so set up a YouTube account. You can download any of these audio tracks and use them in your video content, and you won't get any copyright problems. So there's a certain track that I want to download that I think will go well with this video clip. It's this particular clip, this audio track here, Sunshine Samba. It's a jazz track, so I'll search for that here, and I'll click the download button here. So we've got audio and video now and we're going to combine them together. You can click on the genres here and search for different types of genres and oh, there's loads of audio here. So go and experiment. You've even got sound effects here if you want to look at those. So we'll close down the web browser. We'll go to Magic's Movie Edit Pro and we'll open up this folder. We've got the audio and the video in here. And we'll start up a new track. We'll click Create. It's 1920 by 1080. We'll drag this video in here. And now we've got the video. And we're going to drag the audio directly underneath so normally what I do is reduce the, the the volume of the audio and to do that you click you move your mouse cursor here and you drag down and normally I set it to like minus 10 dB because I don't like audio to be too loud when video is playing so if we go back and click play can hear the music playing it might be a little bit too quiet so we can raise up the volume so you can set it to whatever you want you can have it really high really low I kind of like leaving it quite low so if someone's listening to it they can turn up the volume on their device to hear it louder um, but I think something like this is pretty good now sometimes if we zoom out you'll see the audio is much longer than the video clip so we want to cut the audio the way to do that is to move the timeline across to the end of the video clip here and then make sure the magnet tool is on and then the uh, move mass tool is on here and then we just use the cut so you click on the audio clip move move the cursor to this position and click cut here and then we can get rid of all of this and just delete it now the audio is the same length as the video clip itself we can hold down the control key and use our mouse wheel to zoom in and out here and in most cases you want to fade the audio in and fade it out so when you move your mouse cursor over here if i zoom this way when you move your mouse cursor over the audio clip you get these handles on the left and a handle on the right side so all you need to do is just click on that handle carefully and just drag it in that will fade the audio in we'll fade it in a bit more so that you can hear it fade in and then at the end we can fade it out something like this and then we can go back and click play Now you can hear the audio fading in and we'll click here and click play and hear it fade out. And the same logic you can apply to the video clip. So you can fade the video in and you can fade it out as well. So the audio and the video will fade in and out like this. So we can give that a quick go. Let's click play. There you go so that's how you quickly add a video clip we even done some editing on this video we faded it in and out we added the audio clip we managed to change the, the the loudness of that audio you can increase and decrease that by using this handle here and then we managed to fade the audio in and fade it out and then you can add more video tracks if you're going to add more video tracks you might put a transition here for example i'm going to show you maybe some transitions and stuff in future tutorials but i just wanted to quickly show you how to add audio how to fade it in and out and how to match it on the timeline to the video so that you can cut it and do some basic editing so we'll minimize this We'll close this down. That's the end of this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.